I'm Mario Marzo, I'm a pianist and filmmaker from Spain. I think the beautiful thing about music and art is that we all have the same notes to play and we have to be faithful to the composer and really do what is written, but we can't just go to that place and be happy with that. We have to go farther, we have to find how we think the music should be played. Learning a new piece is always complicated, you will have failure. You will go home and you say, well, I can't play, why is this happening? Because all we musicians, that we just want to play and to enjoy and some of them will say the best is the discovery and all that, but most of us, we just want to play it and to feel and to change. And Halo get us to that point faster. I have now more time to focus on interpretation and the sound and the quality of the music that I'm playing than just on the precision. Normally, I would just read the, the music and be like trying to repeat, trying to get all the notes, let's say, written in my brain. So when I have to perform live, I don't have to think about it. It would just come and I could just be focused on the interpretation and not just on, on the notes. Halo, the hard work, the reading, the being just you and the piece trying to, to, to know what is happening, where the fingers should go, changing the fingers, should I put a four, should I put a three, that just go faster. So you have just to be careful about the music and to pay attention about the art. That's how I feel when I'm training with Halo. It just makes it a little bit more fun and more artistic, I would say. I just have to read it once, really slow, paying attention to absolutely everything. And then when I do it for the second time, maybe I think like I'm going to fail, but for some reason I don't. Like I read a G when it was an A, but my finger plays an A. Because I, the first time I did it, it was great. And that without Halo, that takes way, way more time. So we could say we have a um, some, some piece that would say that it's uh, piano, so no to forte, and that it has to be lovely. But we don't have too much information, so we just have some notes. And some people would want this to be really melancholic and really missing someone. Someone would want it to be really intimate because they feel the love and, and they feel it, but but yes, in a completely different way. So the interpretation has a lot of different faces and a lot of different ways to, to, to move and to, and to be done. I think that's the, the most beautiful part. I could just play a piece, learn it faster, so I could really be focused on what I really think it's important, that is the music, the fantasy, the, the sound. That's why I think this is so important for, for musicians nowadays.